Gracias. Garfield here, welcome to episode 28 of the Derby Way. Now, while this simulation match against Wimbledon, Wimbledon are bottom, hence the simulation, um, I want to give a big shout out to Bear Hams. Uh, link for his channel will be in the description, and because I'm super kind to all your faces, um, there's a handy little playlist on my channel with his Youth Squad Gods series. I would seriously recommend going and checking it out. Um, I find it very enjoyable, so uh, yeah, why not? You will too. Uh, go check him out and uh, look out for some stuff that we might be doing together in the future. Um, as you will see, now that it's full time, Derby won 2 0 against Wimbledon, and uh, it was that man, Ed Allen, with both the goals. Now then, let's have a look at this. Tyler Hill has finally turned 16, and he has been signed up straight away. He's going to replace Martin straight away immediately at that left back position. So without further ado, let's just sign him in. Well, peeps, I think we've just found another star for the series, if not second only to Ed Allen. Tyler Hill, not only does he have potential to be special, he has the high, high work rates, which is banging. And if I just have a quick flick over here, five star skill moves and a three star weak foot whoo this kid's gonna be something else now before we get into the final youth scout reports um we've had a transfer offer for taylor griffiths uh, he is on the transfer list he is kind of redundant um as a right back now we have plenty of uh, of cover and it's crew alexander that are interested in buying him for 240k uh, his contract is running out um, so I'm going to accept this and uh, hopefully Taylor Griffiths will get to continue some playing time uh, get his career hopefully back underway at Crew Alexandra and so here we go we have got our final scout report from South Africa and I'm looking through and I think oh Kat is a Dubé 94 72 to 94 uh, I think we're going to sign him in because we haven't got a chance of after after this one because uh, we do need to send them back out again so we're going to sign Dubay in and the rest will just we'll just let move on and hopefully get snapped up by someone else but Dubay comes in and the final scout report from Belgium has brought back Mathis Dupont Mathis Van Nordenberg what a fucking name that is Luca Leblanc uh, and Arthur that one as well but he's going to be rejected but because it is the last one um even though i'm not so sure about them i figure you know we've got the cash spare uh, we've got plenty of it with derby so we're going to sign all three of these in arthur's going to just be rejected and uh, we'll see what comes of them over the next few months and finally from romania we haven't had much luck from romania so hopefully we're going to get some good players here we're off to a good start sebastian nikolai um he's got a decent potential so we're going to sign him in um no from me robin mate 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 um stanislav radjikan um he's got a decent overall actually i think we're going to sign him in and we'll just see how he goes i hope he's not a center back at five foot nine and i'm going to leave that we've already taken a chance on a couple of them from uh belgium and oh hello um how would we say that Ayogu matey mate matai but i'm going to call him matey matey that is one hell of an overall and one hell of a potential already and it looks like he is going to be a left-sided player if he's a left winger that's kind of useful but get signed in some the rest of them are moving on with their careers elsewhere right then time to send the scouts out and um I haven't had any other requests other than from Astros fan 12345 who a few episodes back um, asked me if I could scout America for a striker so we're going to do that for you right now sir and there you go we're in the United States of America for an attacker uh, the other two I think I'm going to send out um, 
on my own uh, one we'll, we'll go to England I do like to scout England um, as often as we can um, and I think for the third one I'll just pick somewhere random so yeah I'll, I'll come back to you when I've done that and so I've sent the final two scouts out one to England for three months looking for any uh, just because I do like to scout England as often as possible and um, the second one has gone to Venezuela for three months um, simply because for some reason I had aye aye we got Castaneda that's from Cuts' series and that would have been in my head so I was like well do you know what let's go to Venezuela and uh, so yeah there we go the scouts are set up for the next three months and so we are at the Oakwell Stadium in Barnsley for the second game. Uh, Barnsley are flying high currently and third in the table. So, uh, And there is the table as we speak about it. And uh, yeah, this could be an interesting clash, that's for sure. And we've got the top scoring teams and we're in there, but so are Barnsley. Barnsley are fifth. Um, it's uh, still early though. Right then, so let's have a look how Barnsley line up in this game. Uh, they are playing with a 4-5-1 formation. Um, really filling that midfield, aren't they? And here's the Derby lineup. The only notable change worth noticing is that Tyler Hill has come straight back in, uh, straight into the team. I do apologise. He's replaced Martin, and it's the usual 4-3-3 with the usual suspects elsewhere on the pitch. Barnsley looking dangerous on the. Uh, Left hand side, Hill trying to just sturdy the ship. Oh, and the shot, the ball finds its way to Mauer and eventually he gets the shot off. First time shot, and uh, it just pings wide, thankfully for us. It's been all Barnsley so far. And there's Junior, Wilson, Darby starting to grow into the game a little bit now. That's a beautiful passing to Allen. Allen will take the shot. Oh, he's rattled the crossbar. Oh, and so stoppage time corner, Cox to deliver, Allen will jump up and reach it but uh, it will be half time and it is nil nil, just starting to grow into the game now Derby, but uh, it has been pretty much all Barnsley so far, their five in the midfield has uh, certainly hindered us on that front, oh Allen's done well, can he finish it off? Takes the shot and it's uh, well off the mark. And, uh, hmm, yeah. And Barnsley can attack, but uh, cut out. Oh, only as far as uh, a Barnsley man. And it was VT who made the mistake. And uh, oh, Barnsley get the shot off and Romano manages to put it out for a corner. Mendes Jr., first time passing to Wilson. Uh, Wilson's sort of blocked off, but he manages to find it through to White. Wilson plays it through. Here is Allen. Cuts inside. Takes a shot. It's 1 0 and it's his head, Allen. Oh, that is beautiful. That's goal 12 for the season for him now. Lovely bit of skill to cut inside of his man. And then that, that, that it's becoming almost trademark the outside of the foot shot. And uh, it's going to beat the keeper. And it was a beautiful shot. And finally, the deadlock is broken, and of course, it's the man Ed Allen with the goal. Beautiful assist from Wilson. So, corner comes in from Barnsley. Romano just about gets his fist to it. Shaw, who's just come on for White, just about gets back in time to uh, make that to interception. Allen will play it. Here is Pereira now lovely dink through and Alan's done his man and he takes the shot and it's over the freaking bar ah wed Wilson picks up the ball in centre mid Cox plays it out here Shaw plays it in Alan gets the shot off is saved by the keeper but Pereira is there to finish up the chance and uh, well it's been deserved that as we have been probably the uh the better team uh, so far at least anyway and I think that is Pereira's uh, first goal of the season as well I will, I'll double check but uh, there it was great save for the first shot and the downward hit volley was enough to send it back over the keeper and uh, into the back of the net and Pereira is off the mark and uh, it is 2-0 
And just to find out... Oh, no, it is his second goal of the season. My apologies. Right, so it's a free kick for Barnsley. And, uh, well, that is blazed high and wide. I was a little bit more worried about that until he took the shot. And there it is, full time. And uh, it's a 2 0 win. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit dicey early on, but uh, I think we pulled through. It should have been more, to be honest. Uh, Alan had a good few chances that he should have buried. And hopefully, towards the end of the season, we will be burying. But uh, that's, uh, that's another match down. And uh, we'll see you uh, on the Notts County game. It's coming up next. Well, Taylor Griffiths has been sold to crew and uh, he will be leaving the club on the 1st of January. Good luck, sir. Well, it is the start of a new month, so it must be youth squad update time. So let's go through this. Gatsha Radebe, uh, potential of 76 to 90. So his potential is actually still going up. Glad we kept hold of him. Uh, Sebastian Nikulai, 73 to 93, relatively new into the academy. Rob Jacobs, potential 78 to 92. Oscar Evans, 81 to 87. Katiza Dubey, 67 to 87. Now, uh, that's gone quite disappointing, but we'll uh, keep him in like Rene Bay and hopefully he goes back up. Uh, Max Alexander, 86 to 92, looking pretty good. Connor Thomas, 83 to 93. Xander Mercier, uh, 82 to 94. Luca LeBlanc, uh, 72 to 92. Mathis uh, Van Norenberg, uh, 72 to 92. That's one hell of a mouthful, isn't it? Charles Watson, 86 to 92. Uh, Mathis Dupont, 74 to 94. Uh, Igoru Meiti, <laughs> uh, 82 to 94. Uh, Stanislav uh, Radic Radicam, he is 65 to 85, and uh, we have plenty of right backs, so I'm actually going to release him now. Uh, just like that. And finally, Bogdan Lupu, he is a 78 to 92. Well, Ed is up to his old tricks again and has won the player of the month. Um, I have realised I didn't put in the player of the month for the last month. And, uh, yeah, you can probably guess that also was Ed Allen. So he's 2-2. Two two. Keep going, Ed. Well, after the sale of the Bulgarians, uh, Tonev Delev, and uh, the Peruvian uh, Reverida, I didn't think we'd get any more international call-ups for a while. But I'd be wrong. Joel Vitti has been called up for the Finland squad and Charles Ward for the Australia squad. So uh, the only one really there for first team purposes would be VT, but we've got Niemi who can step in no problem. So we're back at Pride Park for the third and final game of the episode, and we host Notts County. It's not quite the Notts Forest lineup that we uh, can't wait for next season. Uh, the league table there you see is comfortably at the top, and Notts County is struggling down in 19th. So here's the Derby County lineup for game 10 of the season. And uh, this is pretty much the first team going forward, probably till, for, for the most part, for the most the rest of the season, apart from injuries, suspensions, and international call ups. And the Knotts County lineup. And uh, what sort of formation do they play? They play a pretty basic 4 4 2. So uh, we're normally pretty successful against teams that play 4 4 2 and come at us. Um, so I'm um, quietly optimistic for this game so here we go Ed will kick us off out to Cox pass out to Mendes Jr this guy is pacey as and he's got pretty good ball control plays it through Alan with a first time shot and it's just over the bar but a lively start from the Rams so here's White picks up the ball in midfield out to Wilson probably going to get booked uh, soon Hill, oh that's a cracking pass from Hill. Allen will do his man and he will tuck that away for goal 13. And uh, oh, this is another hell of a strike. Great bit of uh, skill move and that pass from Tyler Hill was brilliant. Cut him open, a little bit of a shimmy and uh, finesse it into that top corner Ed. That's what he does. 
That's what he does best, is goal scoring. Well, thank God he's on our team. It's 1-0, and uh, Ed gets his 13th for the season already. He's only played 10 games. Go kick searching out wide. Wilson, lovely little uh, bit of play. White wins the header, finds Abeledo. Abeledo hits one from downtown. Oh, he makes the keeper work. That was one hell of a shot, Abeledo. Still looking for his first goal for the Rams. And, uh, wow, that would have been one way to uh, have done it. What a shot, and that's a spectacular save from the keeper. And uh, Derby just handling everything that Knox going to throw at us at the moment. White. Oh, that's beautiful. Just keep going, White. Takes the shot. It's low and hard, but the keeper will make a great save and uh, will go for a corner. The cross will come in, but uh, Jackson will just deal with that. Abeledo, and uh, yeah, there it is, half time. It's 1 0, and uh, this game could have been a cricket score by now, but um, Notch County hold out, and it is still only 1 0. Hill into the path of Abeledo. That's a brilliant pass from Abeledo. White will charge himself onto that. Oh, and he's taken down Ref! Ref! Short, lovely little bit of a turn, but uh, didn't react to his own uh, his own turn. It's like he's killed himself out of the. Uh, and thanks for changing my player twice there again. And uh, it's probably just cost us a goal. No, Romano has made a fantastic save. <sighs> Can't switch to the player you want. Never the player you want. Sure, trying to battle well, and does do. He plays it to Ed. Ed will chip it over. Pereira, can he get on the end of it? Not quite, but he will win it back. Allen will take the shot. He forces a save from the keeper. Is that going to go for a goal corner? It is. He did. Here's Shaw. Plays it out. Cox. Turns around. Whips across in. Dalekson! Alexander! I can't even get the words out. He was there in the right place. And to think, we very close to Seoul, this guy. We were very close to selling this guy in the uh, transfer window. I decided to keep hold of him. And uh, oh boy, am I glad we did now. He's just come on for Pereira. That's his first touch. Great delivery from Cox. And uh, oh, he rose well, didn't he, Alexander? And uh, he puts us two up. And it's his first goal of the season. Fantastic play. That's County. Uh, look a bit shell shocked after that. I'm not, they shouldn't do because it's pretty much been Derby all game. And uh, Jackson trying to put off the def the attacker and he didn't quite manage it. But Romano pulled off yet another great save. Goal kick. Well won by here. Uh, it was well won by Martin and it ends up at Shaw. Shaw tries to. Uh, Hit it first time, does hit it first time, but uh, hits it straight at the keeper. Martin just about keeps that stray cross in. It's a cross in. Allen! Oh, it's three. Oh, yes. And uh, brilliant cross from uh, Connor Martin there. And Allen will pick up goal two for the game and goal 14 already for the season. Absolutely brilliant bit of playing, and the control on the volley to keep it down was fantastic. And uh, yeah, we are 3 0 up now, and uh, there it is confirmation 14 goals already in League One. And uh, Wilson does well there to defend. Jackson plays it over to Martin. Martin just gives the ball straight back to uh, Notch County, and uh, Oh, they've missed. Oh, thank God for that. And uh, they nearly got a consolation goal and they don't get no more chances, but that was very close. It ends 3-0. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was a very interesting game. Very interesting game. Should have been much more than three. It should have been about th three or four at half time, but uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. But uh, Ed Allen, another brace for him and 14 for the season. And so we wrap episode 28 up with our look at the league table. And we have now played 10 games and we are still unbeaten.
unbeaten in the league. Um, one draw, which was against Southend, uh, was a very hard-fought draw as well. But uh, no, it's been another successful episode. Um, three wins as well. And uh, Al Ed Allen, he is going to be a goal machine. We've scored 23 goals so far this season, and Allen has scored 14 of them, uh, which means there's only nine goals been scored by... Uh, other parties so uh, I think it could be a, a record breaking season for Ed this time but uh, no I'm impressed with the way the team's going uh, performance wise so far so yep yeah, onwards and upwards and uh, yeah that will conclude this episode so thank you very much for watching I have been Garfield this has been episode 28 if you liked it please hit that like button if you really liked it please subscribe and until next time, friends, <sighs> doodles!